finally a sentence for the young man behind a deadly shooting on an Arizona college campus. It has been four and a half years since a shooting at Northern Arizona University shook the campus and tore that community apart. It left one student dead and three others hurt. Finally, the shooter Stephen Jones has learned his fate. A judge sentenced him to six years in state prison. Max Gordon spent the day in the courtroom. Max, what was it like in there today? Well, Jared, it's been a long and emotional day in court. We heard from victims, lawyers, and at the end of the day, we heard from the man at the center of this shooting. I miss him. I miss his smile. I miss his voice. I miss his infectious laugh. A mother's grief, still raw years after the death of her son, Colin Brew. Some nights I wake up in a cold sweat of in fear of forgetting any part of him. And a request from this mother sentenced her son's killer, Stephen Jones, to the maximum amount of time behind bars for manslaughter, 10 years. Because he did cause catastrophic damage that night and a rippling effect that goes on and on. And like a ripple, Jones' other victims repeated a request for that maximum sentence. He has proven that he's capable of taking away one life and was not afraid to take away at least three more. But Jones' attorneys argued that NAU's Delta Chi fraternity created a drunken, violent atmosphere, saying that while the shooting was tragic, Jones had been sucker punched and was acting in self-defense. <laughs> and as archived video of Jones immediately after the incident played out in the courtroom, it the shooter bowed his head and we sobbed. Can't do that here. If it were possible, I would, in a heartbeat right now, just trade places with Colin Brew. If I could... If I could... If he, if he could be at home with his family and I could be dead, I would do that. Though in the end, Joan's fate would be a sentence of six years in state prison. An emotional day for both sides in this case, and the judge probably said it best today, concluding that no sentence would fully bring peace or closure to anyone in this case. Live in Flagstaff, Max Gordon, Arizona's family.